Not too long ago, Google came out with Google Music. This was something that not only lets you buy music and play it on your connected devices, but it also lets you upload your current music collection into the cloud so you could stream and listen to it also on your connected devices. What happens when your device isn't connected? Isn't there an easy way that you can get your music from the cloud onto a storage device so you can have it with you when you want it? Well, yes and no. Easy, no. Is there a way? Yes. Let me show you how. So here's my Galaxy Nexus. It's running Android version 4.1.1, and this is the stock version of Jelly Bean. I've uh, got Google Play Music open right here, and you know what? I want to be able to save some of this stuff to my, uh, to my device. So how do I do that? Well, let's say I like AFI and, ooh, look, December Underground. That sounds good. Prelude 1221. Thumbs up for that song. Awesome. How, how do I save this onto my device so that I can play it back whenever I don't have a network connection? Uh, what version of Google Music is this? Oh, no! It's hard because they change it all the time. So first thing we do, we, we got to come in here and uh, go to our menu, and we need to say that we want to choose what on-device music we want to have. So, okay, now we're in choosing mode. Once you're in choosing mode, hey, look, I've got this little pin right here. I can push a, a pin on that and it will start downloading that to my local device. You know what, that's just a lot of cumbersome stuff. Why can't I just say, hey, you know what, I want to save that and... <laughs> Come on, Google. Let's make this a little bit less difficult, okay? But even still, once I get this downloaded onto my device, if I have to wipe, it's gone. Meaning I have to download it again, because, you know, this is my song that I uploaded to the Google Music service. I can download it a zillion times, as many times as I want. I can stream it and do whatever, right? So no problem there. But what if I really want to take this and save it onto my SD card? Well, okay, Galaxy Nexus, no SD card. Which, by the way, Google, hello, serious? Come on, give me a frickin' SD card. Anyway, that's a rant for a different video, I suppose. But for the purpose of this video, we're gonna pretend like there's an SD card in here that we can save our music onto, that when we do a wipe or we upgrade to another device, we just have to pull that card, pop it in the new one, we're done. And hey, all of our music's there already and we don't have to resync it. Wouldn't that be novel? Anyway, back from the rant. So let's say I want to, uh, to do just that. Let's go ahead and play this. Prelude 1221, if you're not familiar, wow, what a completely amazing song. Now, the downside to doing this is you do have to wait for it to download all the way to your device. So, essentially, you've got to listen to it. You don't have to listen to it, but that's the best way to know if you've already got it on there. So, this is a short song. I'm not going to have you listen to all of it. You know, we don't want to get copyright stuff involved. That's why I'm talking over most of it. So I'm going to go ahead and pause, listen to this, do a little bit of jamming out on my own. And when we come back, I'll tell you how to get this song onto your SD card. Great, I just got done jamming out to that wonderful song. And now you notice I'm done listening to it and I can move on to step number two. Now. You do have to have root access, which I do have on this. No, it is not unlocked, but I showed you how to get root access on your very own Galaxy Nexus without unlocking it uh, in a previous video. I'll have a link to that video at the end of this video. How about that? So what we need to do is we need to fire up a file explorer. No, not Astro. No, not Linda. No, it's gotta be something that supports root level access. So hey, how about Root Explorer? It's available in the market, costs about four bucks. Go ahead and open that up. And once this is open, you can see it's been granted super user permissions because I'm rooted. Thumbs up for rooted. And now I can go into uh, all kinds of stuff. So let's drive first into the data folder. And inside that, there's another data folder. I don't know why there's data inside data. Don't ask me. And the next thing that we want to go to is com. Google Android Music. So we're going to scroll down here. Um, you Google Android, blah, 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 music. I'm going to open that up. From there, we're going to go into the cache. That's where it saves everything. 
And inside that, now we have a whole bunch of other stuff and music. That's where we want to go. Now you can look at your dates here. This, I believe, is it. Nope. Shakespeare Sisters. Sorry, guys. So let's go ahead and back out of that. Let's find another October 11th. Is it this one? Nope. That's not it either. Is it this one? Not yet. Is it this one? No, so it's really kind of a, uh, you know, just pick and choose. Where did it go? That one's from August, so that's obviously not it. Maybe it's this last one. And it is. I don't know what rhyme or reason they have to organizing it the way that they do. The file names are chronological, but the dates are not, so good luck. But this is very obviously the song that I want. Of course, it's named 3463.mp3. I knew that. No, I didn't. So that's the one that we want. All we have to do now is select this guy, rename it, move it wherever. Uh, we're good to go. So I'm going to copy that and uh, we're going to come back up here and go wherever I want now because this is rude. I can go anywhere. So let's come down here to my SD card, which isn't a real SD card, but you know, we like to pretend. And I'm going to put this in my downloads folder. Okay, so right here. We'll paste that. There we go. See if we can rename it. And I'm just going to name this AFI Prelude. Yeah, I can't even spell today, guys. Prelude one, two, two, one. And I know there's a dash in there, but good enough. Now, I've got that file. It's an mp3 file and I can go ahead, open it up and play it wherever I want. Now, is this easy? No. Is this something you're going to do to copy your entire music collection down from your Google account to your device? No. For that, there's a desktop manager that you can put on your desktop PC, download all of your music to your new computer, you know, whatever you want to do uh, from there. This is just a way that you can say, hey, I really like that song, I wish I had it on my local device, and I wish I could put it over on my SD card so I could take it with me when I get a new device or when I wipe this one and start fresh again. So not a very fast way to do it, but an absolute foolproof way to do it until they change something and make it um, not foolproof anymore. But there you go. What do you think? Let us know your thoughts and comments down below over at pocketnow.com, of course. And uh, well, let us know, was, was all this worthwhile learning? Do you like knowing where it's storing all of your, your music? And uh, do you like the fact that you've got to have a root file explorer and a rooted phone to be able to get at it? Seems like an awful lot to me. And Google could just make things real simple by letting us long press and, you know, save this to my external SD card. That's just me. And who am I? For Pocket Now, showing off some roundabout hacky tricks. I'm Joe Levi.